Well, I'm now joined by Russell Chu, who's the business development manager for Borealis. A very good morning to you. Good morning. Uh, how is everything going here in Exhibition Hall 2? Well, it's great to be here at uh, CPHI. I mean, CPHI is a, say, a key show for us. Uh, that we're here every year. I mean, it's our fourth year here um, because the medical well, plastics industry is, is so key for us as a specialty business, um, part of the Borealis focus on specialty generally. Okay, now as you know I'm a medical doctor and so obviously use a lot of the end product. Now I have to tell you at school I was not very good at chemistry, however polymers are very important to you aren't they? Can you explain exactly what you do as a company? Well we're actually the uh, number two uh, in Europe uh, manufacturing polyolefins um, and here we're here to uh, demonstrate uh, polyethylene polypropylene products sold into the medical sector. I mean so if you'd like to uh, just have a look I mean this is the typical end products that uh, we supply into but we actually supply the polyethylene uh, polypropylene pellets that uh, our customers and uh, end users then manufacture into these different articles widely seen in the, in the uh, healthcare industry. So just so for those people who don't really know a great deal about polymers, essentially they all have very different attributes, don't they? Different spe uh, specific characteristics that allow you to mould it so it's more flexible, less flexible and so on. Is that correct? No, exactly. I mean, each of the, uh, let's say, different products, we have a very full range of products for the medical industry and each of those products has a distinct set of properties uh, designed for the, to meet the needs of the different uh, uh, end applications. But it's not just the products that's important to us and the performance of the product. It's also the service package that goes with us. I mean, the, uh, the Borealis uh, uh, mantra in healthcare, uh, our BORMED concept is, is all about uh, conformance, so uh, keeping with the regulations necessary for the healthcare industry. Absolutely. It's all about service, uh, so fast quick service from experts knowledgeable in healthcare serving these different end, end markets um, and uh, also um, commitment to the healthcare industry. I mean we have specific uh, uh, services with, that we uh, give to the healthcare industry demonstrating our commitment, keeping additional stock, uh, special planning, prioritization of the healthcare products and also the uh, change of uh, change process if we ever do need to make any changes with the products we have specific uh, packages that uh, dictate how we exactly go about that yep. change process. Now you were you were telling me earlier and you were keen to stress to me that you listen very carefully to your customers and that you do refine your product according to their needs. Now uh, in terms of some of these products I mean obviously they have very different characteristics don't they so if you've got a syringe for example like this one that has to perform in a different way to say a squeezy bottle. Absolutely. I mean, completely different type of needs. I mean, the squeeze bottle is, is, a, is a prime example of how we really try to listen to the needs of the market. I mean, one of the products we launched uh, three years ago was our soft polypropylene product. Um, with soft polypropylene, it really uh, it, uh, it shows good transparency. It shows the uh, softness, so the uh, collapsing of the product yeah. as it em em empties without venting but it also uh, is able, because it's polypropylene, it's able to sterilize at a much higher temperature than the conventional so, product. So that's really interesting to me, that you can collapse it and it doesn't need venting, so therefore remain sterile. It remains sterile and it w will collapse, but um, the product, which the main product in the market, uh, low density polyethylene, which is used for this, also does that. But the unique difference with our soft polypropylene product is it meets all those other requirements but the sterilization temperature is much higher so it can be sterilized at 121 degrees C instead of 110 which is typical for polyethylene and therefore um, you get uh, terminal sterilization and you're able to actually sterilize in half the time allowing significant benefits for the industry. Wow that really is significant isn't it? In terms of some of these uh, polyethylene products and so on. I've always been concerned about leaching of chemicals into medication. Now clearly that doesn't happen, or I assume it doesn't happen. I mean, uh, when, when it comes down to uh, leachables from any uh, plastic product, any plastic product, uh, there is a certain amount of uh, two-way movement. Yes. But this is something that's very, very carefully controlled with the, within the industry. Um, and one of our other propositions to the market is that we provide extractable studies of all of our products uh, to the industry 
and thereby aiding our customers' own extractables and leachables testing process. So this is something else that uh, is, uh, let's say, is seen as a huge value to, uh, to the industry. So very much a, a two-way process between you and the pharmaceutical manufacturer? Very much so. I mean, we, we engage with the immediate uh, customers who are typically you know, converting these, but then the whole value chain, understanding their needs, uh, right through to the pharma companies. And so we have a, you know, an intensive dialogue through that whole value, value chain, understanding their needs, um, so we can then design the products for the future the soft polypropylene being case in point. Do you know, weirdly, I hadn't really thought about the fact that you must make blister packs uh, for medication. I'd never really thought about the manufacturing process of that, and yet I obviously prescribe them every day. Um, well, blister, blister packs is, uh, let's say, it's, it's a market which typically is, is dominated by uh, the PVC products, but uh, in Borealis, we've had a product made out of uh, polypropylene, which can be used for blisters, um, because there is a, a clear preference uh, amongst uh, some pharma companies to, to move away from the traditional PVC, move into polypropylene, um, and this is something we've uh, been uh, the, the market leader in for many years. It's really fascinating. I mean, really, when you, you know, it's very interesting for me as a physician because obviously I'm an end user, but without really giving thought to the process and where it comes from and the material sourcing and, and everything that goes into that. Now, for you uh, as an industry, why is CPHI so important to you? Why are you here today? It's really, it gives us the opportunity to meet with, with our customers and with the, uh, the whole pharma industry. I mean, this is the perfect opportunity for us to, to actually have that engagement on one location. I mean, we're out there in the market every day anyway, but uh, let's say with CPHI, with so many of our immediate customers and end users coming here, uh, it really is the ideal opportunity to, to uh, let's say, have that engagement in one location. And, and does it really work for you in, term, in that, you know, that you just get that massive amount of footfall over three days, that you see more people, you know, you keep your current customers, you get new customers, and it, it clearly is worth you being here? Absolutely, which is why you know, we've already booked for next year. <laughs> well, that's a very good answer indeed. And what, um, for you, is the measure of success of this event? You know, when you, when you leave here, when you go back to your office, how will you decide whether this has been a successful event for you? I mean, of course, we look at the numbers, we analyse the numbers, but it's, all, it's, it's more about the quality of the uh, visits we have and the engagement we have with the market. So we actively uh, monitor that and, uh, and look at and analyse all the different visits the ones we've had, and that's how we uh, create a view for whether we participate in the future or not. But as I say, we've already decided for next year. Well, you're a very good man indeed. Well, it's day one of a very long three days, so I have to thank you very much indeed for your time uh, this morning. Russell Chu, thank you very much from Borealis, and I wish you the best of luck over the next three days. Thank you.